Once you deploy something, that's not the end of the road. You might need to know how many requests are receiving, how hot's the CPU getting, how much memory spare, and that means you need to monitor it. One of the most popular options is Prometheus. It's an open source project with an extremely large community. And it's the second project to join the Cloud Native Computing Foundation in 2016 after Kubernetes, which you might have heard of. Prometheus monitors different targets, which are IP addresses. On each of those targets, it pulls in metrics, things like memory usage, rate of requests, or anything else. And it does that by making a GET request to a slash metrics endpoint on the target. To serve metrics in the Prometheus format from this endpoint is to run an exporter. The node exporter is the most fundamental and is used for essential hardware metrics like temperature or CPU. But there are many off-the-shelf exporters for common software components too, which gather and serve you related metrics on the slash metrics endpoint. Or you can implement custom exporters using a client library, for example, in Python. All of the targets can be configured in YAML. It's key to understand that Prometheus pulls in data. Data isn't pushed to it. If it was, then too many requests could overwhelm the monitoring service and turn it into a bottleneck. Instead, Prometheus pulls in the data when it needs it. Pulling data in also makes it easy to identify specifically which service is down and when, because its requests to the slash metrics endpoint fail. Even when other components of the system do fail though, Prometheus is designed to stay up. It's totally standalone and even includes its own storage. There are three key types of metrics. The gauge, which can go up and down arbitrarily. The counter, which can only go up. And the histogram for measuring how big or how long something was. All of this is stored on disk in a special Prometheus format, which you can see at the slash metrics endpoint of any target. Prometheus runs its own web server too, which actually shows all the metrics it's monitoring from its targets and also its own machine. And these can be queried in the Prometheus UI. Or they can be pulled in by other applications like Grafana. So if you only had three minutes to learn about Prometheus, that's the essentials.